Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. This series, we're taking a look at the Boxy Box from D-Link. In this episode specifically, we're going to take a look at the home screen that we have right up here. Now, the home screen is where you find all of your content on the Boxy Box. When you go to it, you have access to all of the other jumping off points that you'll use when you're using the Boxy Box. You'll notice on the top of the screen, it actually lists home and lists the user that you've got signed in at the moment. You can actually have different users on the Boxy Box, and we'll show you how to configure different user accounts later on. In the middle of the screen, you'll see several different icons that are the main tasks that you can perform using BoxyBox. Now, the first one of these options is Friends, and that's because Boxy is very much a social platform designed to connect you to your friends so you can see what each other are watching, listening to, all the other kind of content that you can play or listen to through the Boxy. Now, to get through to it, you select on the remote control to the Friends icon and then press the Select button. Now you see a list of content that all of your friends have watched, and it shows you which of your friends has actually recommended this. And you can scroll down until you get to something that you want to see, and then you can click on the Select button. It'll give you the option to play it. Or if you prefer, you can actually go over and choose Watch Later. We'll show you how this works in greater detail in a later episode. Now, the second item on your home screen is Watch Later. Now, if you selected something to watch later using the icon that we just saw, it'll actually appear in this list. And you can actually go down see these things that you've actually queued up for watching later, and then you can choose to watch them at any point. Now the next two options on the home screen are shows and movies. Now this is set up just like television and movies, obviously. You click through to these, and you actually see all of the content that's actually available. We have the ability here to watch The Big Bang Theory, How I Met Your Mother, Fringe, and we can click through and then play the shows. It'll give us a list of episodes first, and then we can click through and play the episode in question. The same goes for movies. If you click over to the movies interface and then click through, it shows you a list of movies that are available for you to watch at this point. Now where the real fun happens is in apps. This is third-party applications that have been made available from other content providers, not necessarily the big ones that you'll see, like for example the networks or HBO or whatnot, but smaller ones, say like Twit or Butterscotch, ones that have a bunch of content that wouldn't necessarily gain a lot of mainstream attention. So anyone can write an app and make it available to Boxy. In some cases, these are actually premium services like Netflix, or we can actually see stuff like TED or Twit or Revision 3, and then click through and see the kind of content they have available inside these apps. So you'll launch the app and then go see them. We'll talk more about apps in an upcoming episode of this series. Now lastly on the home screen, we have access to files. Now files are things that are connected directly to the Boxy Box using an external hard drive, the secure digital slot, or say uh, connected to the Boxy Box over the network using a network attached storage device. Now when we click through, we have access by category, but we can also go directly to the device below if we know exactly where the files are located. So we can connect to this unnamed folder that we actually have on the secure digital and see movie trailers or photos. So if you have content that you want to see, you can get to it through the files menu here. Now the one thing you may notice when you've clicked through into one of these modes is when you click the menu button again, you'll actually get access to a mini menu rather than taking you back directly to the home screen. This allows you to get straight to one of the things that you want to get to without having to go back and then sort through it again. So you'll see from the files menu, we have access to the shows, movies, apps, and we actually have access to subcategories of these. So instead of just shows, we can go down and choose all, favorites, genres, channels, or files. Again, for movies, we can go down and then sort that way. Apps, again, we have the ability to sort through by various categories. We also have on the far left-hand corner here, search or URL. If you type something in here, it'll actually search. So we can type in butterscotch. And then press enter on the remote, and it'll start to search for butterscotch. In this case, you can see it's tagged a bunch of things that are listed as butterscotch. If we go down, we'll actually see our friend Matt Harris, who is on On Deck, talking about what's next on butterscotch. Now at any point, of course, to get back to your home screen, you can go up to the top bar here, go over to Home, and then click it. And of course, that'll take you back to the main home screen. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you other ways of interacting with the Boxy Box. And for the show notes on this and the other parts in the series, you can go to butterscotch.com.